Welcome. Welcome to all who are joining us tonight, <clears throat> both from afar and here in the sanctuary. Today is day four of the 2015 Steps to Knowledge Vigil. My name is Aaron, and I'm a student of the new message from God. I've been a student of the new message for 28 years, and I began studying Steps to Knowledge in 1989. We're commemorating the 20-day period in 1989 when Steps to Knowledge was sent by God through the Angelic Assembly to their messenger, Marshall Vian Summers. Let us take a moment to surround and protect ourselves with the love and the grace of God. Before we begin our meditation together, I'd like to share a step with you that has special meaning for me. In choosing this step, I took some time to go back and review how I got here and how I even got to steps in 1989. And I went all the way back to when I was five and six years old and remembered as a child, I was taught that I had a guardian angel. And um, it was a metaphor, but it also was very real for me. I felt a connection to spirit from a very, very early age. So then my life started to unfold, and with all the disasters and all of the ups and downs and all the things that, that we have in life, and after being so disappointed with the world, I started to seek that connection again and began studying some things and looking and so forth. And something deeper in me guided me to Marshall. And that was in 1988, a year before Steps to Knowledge was given. So I went back and I looked at um, some of my early versions of Steps one of these is an ironing board version. Both of these were really early versions that were really not available except directly from, um, from Marshall. Um, the third iteration you may be familiar with, the, the black steps. And then, of course, there's the beautiful, beautiful gold steps to knowledge, which we now have today. So when I, when I started looking, at what step really represented what I was feeling and what was drawing me to the new message. I looked at, I stepped back and I, I started looking not only at individual steps, but steps, every step first of all is connected to every other step. Some of it obvious um, and a lot of it very mysteriously. And there are themes throughout Steps to Knowledge. Um, for example, stillness is a theme in Steps to Knowledge. Mission is a theme in Steps to Knowledge. Being a student is a theme in Steps to Knowledge. Service, learning, the world, the greater community, all topics, if you will, or themes throughout Steps to Knowledge. But the one theme that jumped out for me was embodied in this step. And it's step 146. I will honor my teachers today. In looking at this step and other steps, I found 12 steps, a 12-step program, if you will, uh, about specifically relating to the teachers. And I'd like to read these steps for you. Step 22, I am surrounded by the teachers of God. Step 23, I am loved, surrounded, and supported by the teachers of God. Step 47, 
Why do I need teachers? Step 128. My teachers are with me. I need not fear. Step 129. My teachers are with me. I will be with them. Step 146. I will honor my teachers today. Step 215. My teachers are with me. I am not alone. Step 247. I will listen to my inner teachers today. Step 254. I trust my teachers who abide with me. Step 272. My teachers will guide me as I proceed. Step 273. My teachers hold the memory of my ancient home for me. <clears throat> and finally, step 334. The presence of my teachers is with me every day. I'd now like to uh, read my step. Step 146, I will honor my teachers today. Your teachers who are mysterious and who live beyond the visible abide with you while you are in the world. Now that you have begun the steps towards the reclamation of knowledge, their activity in your life will become stronger and more evident. You will begin to give your attention to this and their need for you to develop will be greater as your need for them will be greater. Honor your teachers then, for this proclaims your ancient relationships are indeed alive and are present now to give you hope, certainty, and empowerment. Honor your teachers so that you may experience the depth of your own relationship with them. In your relationship, with your teachers is a spark of memory that reminds you of your ancient home and of your true destiny. Honor your teachers so that you may be honored, for it is your honor that must be reclaimed. In spite of whatever errors you have committed, it is your honor that you must reclaim. If this is done truly, it will be done in humility and simplicity. For as you honor yourself, you honor the greatness of life, of which you are a small but integral part. And now I'd like to read a testimonial from Alyssa from Russia. Greetings, everyone. This is Alyssa calling from Russia, my current home. I've been practicing Steps to Knowledge since October 2012, and I'm currently on Step 290 the second time around. I have been consistently studying Steps during this time and feel moved after Anna's prompt at the opening broadcast of the Steps Vigil 2015 yesterday to share my experience of this sacred practice. As I sat in the sun in my garden in the country this morning after watching the vigil, I'm nine hours ahead of Boulder so the vigil begins at 4 a.m. the following morning where I am, thoughts came to me which I will now try to form into words. My experience with studying and practicing Steps to Knowledge for the past two and a half years has truly been like a great homecoming for me. It is as though I have always known about this knowledge in some deeper part of me, but not consciously. Now it is conscious, and its familiarity often overwhelms me. So I find my study to be the most natural thing I have ever done. It is effortless and flowing. 
It has become an inter integral part of my being and life. It is not even a choice anymore. It is something I must do. But with lightness and joy in my heart, and with a glimpse of the freedom referred to, absolutely no obligation. And I am reaping the benefits. My life is simpler, more harmonious, joyous and rewarding than ever before. I am a stronger person with a stronger sense of who I really am. The miracle of reclaiming knowledge is manifesting itself in my life. I feel the presence of my teachers and the unseen ones ever stronger. I feel their guidance and support. The deep med meditation practices every day are truly a time of rejuvenation and refreshment for me. A time when I enter the temple of knowledge and commune with my teachers and the God of my understanding. A magnificently holy and sacred time. Thank you, Marshall, for bringing us the steps to knowledge through the voice of revelation. I do feel it is a great honor that I found them. Found the new message from God. Found all of the responders studying with me. It is more than words can express. It is part of the mysterious network of communication that Anna mentioned on the first day. It is stirring the deep memory that Reed spoke of. Yes, this truly resonates with me. I am preparing to do the work I came here to do. Thank you for listening. Nasi Navari Quran. I'd also like to read a revelation, a passage from a revelation entitled The Assembly, received in 2013. Your task now is to learn to receive and to take the steps to knowledge so that you may find your true foundation in life to challenge your ideas, to resolve dilemmas from the past, to forgive yourself and others, and to look upon the world without re rejection and condemnation. For this is the world that will call you forth from, that will call forth from you in time, your greater gifts and your greater role. Let us begin a 30 minute stillness practice together. Please take whatever time you need to read and be with your step and then enter stillness when you are ready.
Nasi Navari Karam. The presence of the teachers is with us. If I may, <coughs> I'd once again like to uh, read the revelation from the assembly that was received in 2013. Your task now is to learn, to receive, and to take the steps to knowledge so that you may find your true foundation in life, to challenge your ideas, to resolve dilemmas from the past, to forgive yourself and others, and to look upon the world without rejection and condemnation. For it is this world that will call forth from you, in time, your greater gifts and your greater goal. Nasi Navari Karan. Today, I will honor my teachers. And I honor each of your teachers as well for their love and their guidance in bringing you, as they did me, to the sacred rendezvous. Nasi Navari Karam. Thank you for joining us tonight. And we hope to see you tomorrow evening as the Steps to Knowledge vigil continues. Good night.